everyone. So I'm here at M&S in Wall Stanton with the manager, Peace, who's gonna be giving me a little walk around the store and showing me all of the festive goodies they've got in store, ready for you to buy this Christmas. And I'm really excited because I really love food. It's the best part of Christmas, isn't it? Me too, it's completely the best part. Amazing. Let's get stuck in then. Literally, what we've got here is some of our new value that have come in for Christmas. So you can get everything for your dinner table from sprouts, parsley, carrots, broccoli, um, and potatoes, all for 40p. Make it's like a veggie pick and mix. Veggie pick and mix, all at great value. Uh, great pricing, you don't... Heavenless can be synonymous sometimes with being a bit more expensive. You can start to do your full shop here, which is brilliant. And then, literally, what we've sort of got here is more of, um, obviously, our festive meats for the dinner table. So, save a third on all your beef joints and gowns. Oh, okay. So, they're great. But if you want to go a little bit more extravagant, Got some beef and oh, and then for those who are thinking like beef isn't for the dinner table, okay. <laughs> we then go into our turkeys now. A full range of turkeys come in from the 18th, so 18th and 19th and 20th is when you start to see all of our full birds. Okay, but we started to have some of these new fully stuffed crowns in, so they're oh, quite wow. nice, quite okay. good. Or if you just wanted a boneless one, if there's not as many, or you don't like legs, or... That's brilliant. So what do you typically have on your Christmas dinner? So my Christmas dinner, I tend to do about two meats. Yeah. Because the kids always say turkey's quite dry, I don't know whether it's the way I cook it. So no, turkey... I do agree. We always go for a gammon as well as a turkey. So we either go for gammon or beef. Yeah. Which I'll tend to go for both, let's face it. It's the one time of year you can get away with Yeah. It. And then... Probably more pigs in blankets than I know what to do with. Oh, love a good pig in blanket. Because let's face it, if, you, if that's too small for you, so these are your traditional 12 one. Oh my life! So we've got some foot long ones there. That is brilliant. And then what we started doing new for this year is oh all wrapped gosh. up. So we've got some sausage in there, some sprouts, cranberry stuffing, streaky bacon, cranberry glaze. That's mental. It feels like a meal on its own, doesn't it? Um, what we've also got great that's new this year, so some vegan gravy. Oh, that's great. So this is the first one as we go around where you can get a full vegan Christmas dinner. Yeah. yeah that's amazing. And obviously we've got gluten-free bread sauce. So this is John. Hi. Hi John, are you okay? These, these are some of our creams and I've tried them all. I would have to say okay. that's really nice. It's quite strawberry and cream like to me. Trifle. Um, yeah, and now we also do a cereal which I'll show you when we get down that aisle. It's the same sort of theme. But that's new this year. We didn't do that last year, so that's really nice. We did these last year and okay. they went really, really well and have gone well, really well this year. Both um, super And fast. really good price at £8. Yeah, I was about to say, really like, good price. I, I've I did have a quick wander down your booze aisle first thing you, and I did lady. notice, yeah, yeah, the prices are very good, aren't they? Lower than I would And expect. our own Irish cream is as good as Bailey's, if not better. Really popular. £10. I mean, it's a big Christmas pudding. It serves eight. Oh, wow. You know, so it's like £1.25 per sort of person, if you think of it that way. And it's toffee flavoured and it's been on TV and I'm selling absolutely hundreds of them. They're really, really good. And is that why you've put them literally at the front of the store so that yeah, you can grab absolutely. them as soon we as they're like, in? We like themes in M&S, so you'll notice it's all red, so we've got the clementine and cranberry fizz, and then everything's in a nice red packaging, very crispy, and then you've got your mulled wine at the end, so we, Amazing. it's deliberate, isn't it? It yeah. draws you in. Not I've spotted Percy Pig already. <laughs> He's gone really well this year with his little hat on. Again, this is another influencer thing though. I see so many bloggers banging on about Percy Pig that he's just, he is, he really is. We've got um, Percy Cakes, Percy Sweets, Percy Biscuits, you know, you name it, and we'll put Percy on it because we love it. This is new this year. £20. The world's biggest bottle. Oh wow. It's the world's biggest one kilo. I can barely lift that. <laughs> Dark white chocolate swirl bottle. It's mega addictive. Prosecco, still a buzz. Everyone's Prosecco. Oh gosh, gifting, yeah. I think, in the four years I've been with m grows every year. We're so good at gifting. Um, so hampers and food treats, you know. Um, we had those last year. They went really well. We've got the £50 hampers. But this year, we've like, like this is quite new for us. So it's a shots for grown-ups game. Oh, You've wow. got your coffee liqueur look and you drop it in and away you go. That's a good evening right there. Oh it? gosh, yeah. But then we've got things as well, you know, if you're not an alcoholic person, but you like your food, you've got honey, tea, jam, 
chutneys, everyone likes chutneys. It's all there, it's ready to go. And I have as well spotted this on social media as well. You're singing. You've seen it with the lights in? No. So I spotted it on the way into store. Somebody put this on social media, they're eating the biscuits. Now it makes a nice ornament anyway, but what they did is they put some little lights just for like a pound that you got off eBay back to them. Yeah. And it lights up and then they spun it around. It looks amazing. Oh, wow. So much so, when my wife saw it, she wanted one. So we've got one at home with little lights in. And the kids like to wind it up, you know, and let it go around. And then all the lights project around. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And again, only a fiver, you wouldn't expect it to. Well, this is where we're at this year, you know, we're all about value, because these last year were 10 pounds. Yeah. What we would do is we might do a few weeks of the year where they'd be five at half price. Yeah, yeah, of now they're always five. Yeah. So you haven't got to worry about what week you're coming in, you know you're getting good value. Same as them, they were 15 last year, they're 10 this year. So, and they were 10 last year, they're five, they're selling really well, toffee with shortbread. That's brilliant. So yeah, I think, and then you've got something that people like to keep after, you know, you get one of these for your nan. Yeah. She'll have it for years, won't she? She's making little cakes for you, putting them in. That, or it ends up with a sewing kit in it. That's it, <laughs> sewing kit, nuts and bolts, whatever it may be, but too good to throw away. Oh. Yeah. Christmas pudding. Oh, cool. Last year we did a second one that went really, really well. This year we thought we'll go a little bit more closer to Christmas with the orange on and the books, because it just yeah. goes together. So that's been really, really popular as well. And there's still a few Christmassy cakes yet to come in. They'll come in at the end of next week, so if you want to come back, let us know. Oh gosh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. We've got some beautiful stuff down here. Do you want to see some spirits? Yes, I do. Yeah. There's the creams and bits that this we saw. The, uh... There's our own Irish cream there, look at 12. And that's for a litre where there are uh, bales. I know you perhaps oh, wow. maybe get it sometimes cheaper somewhere else if they've got a deal on, but it works out incredible value. Um, these go really, really well, you know. I'm just, I've tried this flavour. I do a couple of other flavours. You literally microwave them for 45 seconds and you've got a hot salted caramel alcoholic drink with a bit oh of rum in. God. And they are absolutely delicious. That sounds you amazing. You could probably only drink one because they're quite rich, but they're just yeah. you know, quite luxurious. But for £5 for two, like a Christmas Eve drink that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. You've, do, you've done all your work, you're settling down, you've put the kids to bed. Oh, put it in the microwave, 45 seconds, bing, you're done. Now, I, I worked for Morrison's for 20 years, and the only reason I'm telling you that is because in Morrison's we made our own stolen, and they were very good, because we made them by hand, by scratch, but these are the best I've ever had. Oh, wow, well, that's it, And I've tried claim. every stolen there is, because I'm a big stolen fan. You can see there the glazed cherries on top, and they just make it absolutely oh, wow. delicious. They're good, they are. And if one's a bit, you know, if you live on your own a bit too, too much for you, then you can little buy the minis. little mini Stollen bites. I love Stollen. I'm not a Christmas pudding man, I'm a Stollen man. Okay. Sometimes you want all the other. That's me. Amazing. Where are we off to now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we said about the trifle. Oh, yes, you did. Now, this is our trifle cereal. Now, let me read you the back. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, so we've got here. Custard flavoured oat clusters with strawberry jelly pieces, white chocolate chunks, yogurt flavoured coated cornflakes, sponge cake pieces, and freeze dried raspberries. That does sound like heaven in a bowl, doesn't it? Unbelievable, yeah. It's like having a pudding for breakfast. Oh, How wow. big is that? That would feed a few, wouldn't it? Oh gosh, yeah. Toffee sauce, caramelised sponge, custard, fresh whipped cream, sponge, and chocolate. Look at that. We didn't do this last year, did we, Pete? We didn't do it this year. See, I've not had my tea yet, so this is just torture for This me. is another one people are going to see in the paper on TV and they're just going to come in and we're going to sell them by the hundred. So, as you we were saying, over there you said you like macaroons. New for this year, we've got 12 lusted ones. So, you've got they some were. caramel there, some chocolate pistachio. So, they look really nice, look be great. Either as uh, accompanying with some party food or you know, if you really want to go. Oh, what, are they glittery? So like they box. are glittery in a fancy gift box. Imagine that on your table. Yeah, you've just finished your, your tea. You just want a little nibble. Pop it off that. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. That's almost like if you're on Come Dine with me. You yes. Know, and score those bonus points. Crack out the fancy macaroons. Yeah, yeah. scoring them. And then also new for this year. Same. Oh, Crack these out. So chocolate ganache stars. Got them open, a little bit of glitter on Pete, there. Pete, show us the Santa Belt bit rolls, they look cool. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh yes, yeah. my nan loves profit rolls as well. So we've got them ones, well, for you now, we've also got the posh ones then as well. Oh, yes. A little bit of sea salt with caramel cream on the top there goes down really well. That's amazing. And then also new, if you've tried our melt in the middle puddings. Okay. Now we do little ones. Oh so my gosh, they're adorable. We've got a sponge in the front, adorable. go in, they go out. And if that's too small for you, you can even go for the really, really big one. 
Look at that. That looks incredible. A little bit of sponge. We've got some cream to go with that as well. Now, what's this? Is I've have I seen something about salted caramel cream somewhere? They have, and that. Yes. Over here. I, I knew I wasn't making it up. <laughs> so what I'm going really well with that? We've got a few new creams in this oh, year. Oh wow! So we've got the extra thick salted caramel cream, which is that one there. That looks beautiful. But if that wasn't to your taste, we've also got vanilla cottage cream. Brilliant. Which if you like to go down Cornwall as much as I do. Oh yeah, we're there every year. Cream on everything. Every year. And then we've obviously got a brandy butter one as well. Amazing. Brooke, right, so what we've got here is our, our party food range, so all on four for free. So oh, you've great. got your vegetarian options, which are in green here, your everyday, and then your more luxury. Oh, fabulous. Over here, so we've got a few new lines in this. A lot here, tiger prawn selection. Look at those, oh, imagine them posh. on the table. How, how sophisticated do you look? Look, he's we've stuck in the Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can help him with that. <laughs> so you can mix and match all the sort of cakes John just showed there, plus all of these new lines we've got here. This is the new one and these all cook at the same temperature, don't all they? All cook at the same temperature, all freezable. So don't worry if the date's not what we want to be. All yeah. freezable, all cook the same from frozen, which is really good. And do they all cook at the same times as well, or very similar? I think similar times, I'm sure they're the same. Aren't they? So all the same temperature, slightly different times. But it's well, one of those where you can just pretty much yeah. chuck everything in, leave it, grab it out in, as and yeah, when. timer on. It stops that thing of needing two of us. <laughs> yeah. So what we've got this year, which is brand new, is you can do your whole Christmas dinner vegan. So things like cauliflower bake. Yep. What I found with some of these lines is you wouldn't even guess they were vegan. Right? Yeah. Nice. See, we have one vegetarian in our family at Christmas dinner, so it can be really hard to try and like find something that everybody's happy with. Well, these aren't Christmas line, but like these fries here, which have just got cheese and obviously being vegan, yeah, we don't yeah. have normal cheese. These taste the exact same as the normal ones. Oh wow. Less in calories, I promise you. They are. So we've got them. We've got things like your roasting parsnips. Yeah. So potatoes, baked. Dauphinoise we've got as well. Oh, love that. So they look really nice there. Don't look like you're missing out is what I no, would say. Yeah, Sometimes this is the thing. when you have a vegan or vegetarian you can feel like you're messing out, obviously not with us. New for this year, so brie on fruit. So it doesn't look much there, but when you get it, you can see all the cheese oozing outside, oh. you can dip. Really nice, that's really big it's this just year. Brilliant. I mean for me, cheese is one of the best parts of Christmas. Those well, sets look amazing. He doesn't love a cheese board, I see we've got cheese boards here. If you've already got a board, we've got the selection. Yeah. If you're a little bit more adventurous than me, just with cheddar, we've got some of our more collection based ones there. Oh yes. And just to tie in with uh, the message of uh, alcohol, we've got cheese and taste and stuff. Oh, lovely. So, I've just got back from m and Wool Stanton and I've got mum along because she is the one that does all of the Christmas dinner cooking. Uh, no, I don't. What? Dad does the turkey. Dad does the turkey the night before, but then mum does everything else. So really, mum does it. Um, but this year I said I would sort out Christmas puddings, so m and have full on kitted me out. Um, You've not seen what I've got yet, so I'm excited to see your reaction. Okay. But I did pick this up myself. I've seen one of these before. I know, they're amazing, aren't they? Let's get this up. It sings. <laughs> Has it got anything in it? Shortbread. Oh. Guess how much it was? Seven pounds. It was a five over. Ah. But See, I wasn't, you... off. I wasn't that far off. No, you weren't far off. But once you've taken the biscuits out, I'm going to have to wait until that stops now because otherwise. Sounds like an ice cream, man. Here it does. Oh, come on. As nice as it is, I'd like to have a conversation. I'm going to break it. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> once you take the biscuits out, Peter at the store told me that if you put like one pound fairy lights inside it, mm -hmm. it makes like patterns on the wall and stuff. Um, I've got one at work that somebody gave us, Actually. so that we could have it up in in the in, in the classrooms. <laughs> no, in the classroom, and then she also gave me um, a gold 
M&S biscuit tin and okay. it's like um, got like a cut out pattern and like an old like an old fashioned Victorian lid yeah um, but if you click a button underneath it lights up so oh. when the biscuits are in it's like a little night light it's cute that's cute so yeah I got that that one was a fiver we've got the oh, M&S food chocolate yule log that was only a fiver as well okay I've crumpled the packaging a bit because it's in the bag. Yeah, but no, no, that looks cute. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, she might crumple Oops. the yoga card log too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the M&S Sticky Toffee Pudding Trifle. And I mean, I think Pete said it'd save eight. Okay. I mean, you'd probably have like a bit, bit of yule log with I'll it or just, something, wouldn't you? But I could probably just take this don't, away no. and no. I could just... Just but the thing is, this is amazing myself. as well. The salty caramel cream. This is on the advert with, you know, with Emma Willis and Paddy McGuinness. Have you seen it? Oh, no, they it in it though. No, like Rachel Greens. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ever think of. Mint and peas. Um, but yeah, this is the salty caramel cream. Nice. Have you seen the advert with Emma and Paddy? Uh, this is on it and with the mint yeah, eyes. Yeah, bit toffee. Um, bit toffee. I'm really excited to try that. I know it's like a sin, but I don't like mince pies. It's not bad. I like the pastry, but I just don't like the inside. It's just not Christmas without a mince pie. I really wish I'd like them, but I got the... Did you bring any mince pies home? No, because I don't like them, so I didn't see the point. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't going to put on my blog. I look at these Clearly amazing... family orientated at M&S, weren't you? Well, I'm not going to put it oh. on a review. Oh, I look see. Look at these amazing mince pies that I don't like. Oh, I see. Got 12 lost them. They're glittery, though. Okay. Dad can have all the pistachio ones. Beth has a bit of a thing <laughs> about um, macaroons since going on holiday and finding a little macaroon shop. It was amazing. And then... You can have one of these if you want. Ooh. Treats. So we've got the Christmas gin and tonic and a Cosmo. I don't know exactly oh. which one you're going to have as well. Cosmo, <laughs> so always. Those. And then last but not least, this one was really my favourite. Might be a Christmas Eve job. Okay. So this is the Brie on Crew and it looks absolutely amazing. Anybody that um, reads Beth's blog, her bio line is completely incorrect because it should say cheese loving as opposed to gin loving. She has I mean, gin I'll loving. Love but both in equal measures, but when it comes to Christmas, like cut me open and I'll bleed brie. She's just a cheese addict. So yeah, that was my very successful trip to M&S. Do you think I've sorted out pods? Uh, yeah. Have I done good? Yes. Yeah. Just... This one might just find its way out of the fridge one night yeah i'll notice i think i will as well i'll probably go up two dress sizes <laughs> amazing so girls done good yeah m s done good yeah you've done good pete done good yeah. pete and john done good yeah. thanks m s thanks guys if you want to come over christmas day and cook feel free, free. <laughs> <laughs> at least they know what they're doing <laughs> amazing thanks so much guys for watching you've been absolute stars and i'm just gonna go and eat all of these and then turn it into a christmas decoration